All right, we've got some keto chicken curry today. This is very flavorful and good. This might end up being a staple for you. So um, if you end up using this recipe down the road, I suggest making a big pot of it so you can have leftovers ready to go. So what we're gonna do is melt some ghee. I have some grass-fed ghee right here. We're gonna melt that in a pan and we're gonna first saute up some onion and celery. Then once that's started to cook through, we're gonna chop, have our chopped chicken thighs and add that to the mix. Once And all of our seasonings, our curry seasonings are so crucial. Don't skip your seasonings or it won't taste like curry, right? And then once that's all cooked through with the chicken, we're gonna pour coconut milk on top and let that simmer. In another pan, then we're gonna melt some butter and add our um, riced cauliflower. I, ha I didn't have, they didn't have regular riced cauliflower, so I picked this up for the demo, but you'll wanna get regular riced cauliflower or you can rice it yourself. It's just so much easier if you can buy your own. And we're gonna um, cook that up in another pan until it's tender and then just throw the chicken coconut milk mixture on top and it's super flavorful and good. So I hope you guys enjoy it.